This is my first recording with a new audio equipment at work. Please leave a comment on the quality. Enjoy. Expecting the great battle to commence here? Unfortunately, that is in another chapter, as this one is more of calm before storm scenario. It's warranted to set the stage for Qin and Zhao in the right way before all hells break loose. The last chapter was about coordinating and strategy for the last remaining days. This one is about planning on that very day before the clash. Regardless of the anticipation of the big day, the build-up made it monumental and crucial to what could be epic. I was happy the horror gave me not only a reminder of past connection, but a reason for Gakue to pose a threat even after being called as the weakest of them all. While that may be true, it doesn't necessarily mean he can be easily dealt with like a complete fodder. I only stated that unless he could shoot a beam, he won't be in the same caliber as others. I do believe he will give Heshin Unit a tough time. I was reminded from the flashback that he was a follower to the late Keisha, who Shin himself has slayed. That part flew by me to put it into consideration and which makes this day into a personal feud, making it more than just a skirmish. It's coincidence timing because I saw a comment recently that asked if Ribuko knows the real Slayer of Keisha. Not only this indirectly confirms it, but this has become a revenge subplot, fueling his anger that essentially boosts up his raw strength. Ten practically tells Shin about what I just finished saying. The morale for Gaku E to aim for Shin has increased tenfold. I mean, his expression says it all. His veins were about to pop through the helmet. It does appear that Shin is growing smarter as of late, calling her words pretty much stating the obvious. I do like how wise he has become lately. What's funny is how carefree he is acting on a crucial day. You would think he's going after a no-name army that pretty much screams fudders to serve. That or he heard the announcement that he will be nominated as the Great General. That's how relaxed he is. When Ohan makes his appearance, Shin is acting all cool, like they're on a lunch break. Not minding much of the battle that is about to start. It is small details like this moment that showcase developments of their relationship and individually. Ohan coming to visit Shin rarely happens, hence Shin mocking him for appearing, even though he came for 10. It's still a progress. I laugh at Ohan, made it sound like Ten is still new as a strategist, calling her a wannabe. <laughs> wow, damn, really? What's his grudge against her? Two chapters in a row. Ohan has been on a roll in terms of developments, and this is no exception. He has been commanding coordinately that fits perfectly for both, rather than just him, and that's development. Earlier, Ten believed that Ohan would decline her planned proposal because it wouldn't have him looking like a star, and we know how selfish he can be. Fortunately, he thought the plan is great. Great minds think alike. The plan is to have Heishin unit in front to provoke Gakue army, and knowing how red hot he's in now, he would no doubt take the bait. Shin could just put a target sign and taunt him for all his worth to make it happen. Once that happens, Gyoko Hall unit will ambush from the left rear and flank Gakue to claim his head. It is a simple plan, but hey, if it can't work, why not, right? Ohan couldn't help but insert a line to belittle Shin for having small limitation. Well, you know, his development is great, but it doesn't apply to his attitude. Shin was portraying like a shonen protagonist, overly excited and up the rivalry few. Claiming Gaku E's head will go to him. Banyo, of course, didn't like how carefree he is, but Shin just mocked him since, well, he was on the verge of death a while back. Maybe Shin won't save him this time because, hey, you never know. You can call it karma for him after belittling Shi Shin Unit countless times. I respect him but he did deserve it. The main driving point of Shin's carefree attitude is to complete Moten's words of wisdom about what a great general is truly like. It did boost up the morale for Ohan during his intense struggle. However, 
It was witnessing Shin that made him connect the line. Basically, it means that Shin has the traits to be a great general if go by accordingly to Moten's ideology, which I believe it is Hara's insert thoughts. It's funny how Banyo was whining about Shin and Oham responded negatively, which Banyo thought his master agreed with him. When in reality, he responded to Moten in his head, Good talk. Chogayu is really smart to pick up Chin's plan right away just by standing. It's like he read the spoilers. It's no longer a surprise. It would be too easy though because it would be dumbfounded if Chin actually relies on the surprise and not get noticed. That's it. He's not pleased to be underestimated, so of course, he's going to blow their expectation by going headstrong against Akko Army, foiling the plan entirely. One of the main concerns from the fans is whether Akko Army is even good at defense, since we have seen their ways in combat. They're practically all raw strengths, not thinking twice. You would think they would be all day offensive, even when Akko said they would defend. I was also in question on how they would defend the field. Even the narrator was wondering. Well, not really. It was more like building up the answer as Hara is self-aware of that particular question. It turns out that Akko army does have a defense formation, a pretty damn good one at that. They form an iron wall that is capable to stop the enemies at the first line. Wow, I definitely underestimated his tactic. I guess Olsen army isn't made with all bronze with one brain that is Olsen. Even Chogaya was surprised. That's impressive. Akko does stand out more than Mako ever did. While his death flag is up in the air, it's worth putting him into the spotlight and how impressive his performance has been. The biggest feat to his attribute is his dedication to Olsen. He has been following him for many, many years that he was able to imitate a number of tactics with exact precision. Wow, now that's a hell of a copycat. Seriously, it would mean that Zhao is dealing with Olsen Light. Not exactly the real one, but a good training level. It's not guaranteed that it's going to be easy. I would joke that Ribako should call off the plan because Akko has a pretty solid defense tactic. That would disregard on what I believe Akko's weakness is, which is based on his offense maneuver. It does lead for some element of surprise once the weakness comes in play. As great the compliment it is for Akko to receive here, it does hold a huge problem as well. If he's basically all set light, taking him down will bring down Chin heavily. That sets the tension higher. It makes sense why Reaper called targeted him first and foremost. If he dies, God help them all. Bananji looks ever so confident on his next move, even starting the combat earlier than any other expected it. Chogayu is about to receive the word to set ready for assault as he watches Gakue going hot red to kill Shin. This raises the momentum higher for Zhao and killing Akko will max it out. The calm state is over and the storm is growing worse in each passing chapter. Chin seriously can't catch a break, can they? It does set off for an incredibly intense day with many plans coming in play. This was a really good calm before storm chapter. There was a pretty good showcase of developments from Shin and Ohan. Akko army proved to be a bigger deal than I thought. And that's good. The art is clean and the narrator was used well to hype up Aku Army. Everything is set for full course of action. And hells are breaking loose. It's bad enough to wait long due to a break. It would be painful if the next chapter focuses on the left wing for setup. If Hara does spare us, then holy crap. Just be ready for an epic ride. And that will do it for the review. I hope you enjoyed this one. This is my first time I recorded at work. So please tell me if the audio quality is good. I hope it is good. If so, I can get the review released much earlier than ever. So hopefully it goes well in my first try. What do you think of the chapter? Share your thoughts in the comment. If you like this and want more of this, subscribe to my channel and my world will be yours to stay. 
Until next time, take care.